name is Sabrina Teeger, and I graduated from the University of Santa Monica in August of 2006. The biggest word that comes forward for me is over-responsibility. As the mother of three children, I felt like it was my job to make everybody happy. It was my job to keep everybody together. My father had passed away in 2000, and when he died, I felt like I had to extend that beyond my own family into my sister and her family and my brother and his family and I became my dad in a sense you know and decided that I needed to take care of everybody. Before USM I could just describe myself as a person who didn't know how to fill up but was just so giving to others you know and um, as well didn't know what it meant or what it was like to receive so my job was to give. I came to an information evening here. And of course, after the information evening, I walked right up to Mary and said, I don't know, Mary. I have three kids, and I just don't think I can do this. And you know, she so lovingly looked at me and kind of said, why don't you take some time to think about that? <laughs> and I realized that if I continued the way I had been in the past, which was putting my children first and not gifting this to myself, that there would be no way I would change. So. I filled out the application, I said, well, we'll see. I am responsible for my life. And I, I really feel like I live by that motto every day of my life now. And the processes of being able to look at what happened in the past and what led me up to doing the things that I did I was able to embrace them because I learned that that was part of my learning. I get to make the choices, and in making those choices, I can choose what serves me and also have the awareness that if I don't choose in a way that feels in alignment with what I really want, that no one is around me judging me for that, and that I can be gracious and loving with myself through that process, I can use self-forgiveness, I can use the tools that I've gained here to help me get out of a situation I might have put myself in, but that I don't have to look to anybody else to make me feel better, I don't have to look to anybody else to make me, to fill me, i found another way, and, and that is really a, a gift that I've gotten from here. My eight-year-old looked up at me and said, Mommy, are you my servant? And I remember at that moment, I was just completely taken aback. Before USM, I would have gotten really angry at that question and because I would have felt like I was. I, I really, it would have hit me in that way and that he would see me in that way would have really angered and upset me and um, I, pro I would have taken it out on him as opposed to really looked inside myself and said, what's that bringing forward? But throughout the experience and throughout um, what I've learned and the tools I gained here, I really realized that I could, I could reframe the question inside myself and realize that I'm being of service to him. And I, that's what I answered him, is that I'm being of service to you until you're able to take care of yourself. And when I said those words, I just felt very empowered. I wrote a book, and it's called Visitors at My Door. It's uh, based on the Rumi poem, The Guest House and the idea being that everything in our life is here to teach us something if we're willing to listen. And that book is coming out um, in September. So, it's huge, you know, and I, I, owe, I owe it to the co-creative process of this university and of my willingness to show up here and to participate fully. And I, I really, I really believe that you know, that relationship is what has catapulted me into this life that I'm living now. The image is such a strong one for me about the airline, the oxygen mask, and you know, they always ask you to put yours on before you put on your children's. And I have never truly embraced what that meant until after being at USM. And so what I would say to parents out there is that when we are full, when we really are happy and we are full and we are experiencing our life the way we want to experience it, we have so much more to give our children. And I just didn't get that. You know, I didn't get that being empty, I was not such a nice mom and I just didn't have time. And 
Now I get to choose the time, you know, and, and I'm teaching my children because they're watching me. So I'm teaching them how I'm taking care of myself. Try it. You know, try even the experiment of when I go and I do something and I gift myself with, with time, even if it's five minutes to close the door and take a breath, how different do I respond than if I'm just frazzled and feel like I have to. It's a, it's a gift. It's a gift to me as a mother to take care of myself, to nurture myself. And for me, that was what second year at USM was all about, was how to receive, how to nurture, how to, how to love and take care of me. And how I saw that transfer, not only to my husband and our relationship, but to my kids. You know, when I left this university, there was a very strong desire in me to become part of the faculty of this university and be a part of something that I believe is changing the face and changing the paradigm of how we live today. I want to be of service. I want to be out there promoting the book. You know, it's my intention to, to do that because that's another way of being of service and teaching people that there are so many different ways that we can find our, our wisdom, you know, and, um, and to help people remember who they really are.